Happy Tuesday morning, y'all. Happy Tuesday morning, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. Look at it this way. Once you get past today, you'll be on Wednesday. And it'll be hump day. Then you got two more days left after that, but... I can't even complain today about waking up and getting up. Now, it's raining out here, and my allergies be acting a fool, whether it's sunny, rainy, whatever. But I had an excellent, excellent Memorial Day. I took an extra day, and I took four days off, and it felt good. I was able to do all the things that I normally couldn't do because I was um because I was um um working so hard and I wasn't really getting but those two days off or that day and a half I told you you run around Saturday mornings doing all your earns yes I say earns and um you basically don't have the time that you need but um I look forward to taking another couple of days off at the end of June. Guys, for my naysayers and my Patreon loves that will be uh, that live in Atlanta, my ex girlfriend is bringing me to Atlanta and trying to set up a meet and greet for me down there. She's so sweet. I remember her when she was in. Um, med school and um yeah she's so sweet she's much younger than me one of my young exes that I broke their heart I ain't shit sometimes but anyway we still have a, a crazy relationship but I'm be in Atlanta for the I think it's the last full week in June and if I decide to do a meet and greet when I'm down there, you know, I'll put something out. But I'll let you guys know. But she's trying to set everything up for me now to uh, come down and make sure that I'm happy. Because that's what she do. She's a Virgo. Virgos just want to make people happy. Yeah. They also were some to the Libra. They be too clingy, man. I just... They used to be too clingy. I can't do it, man. I can't. I can't. I need my space, man. Back away. I can't. It's just too much. But uh, what I came here today is because I want to talk to you right quick about Nas and Nicki Minaj. Man, I'm, man this man, when has being successful, when has tricking people and leading people on and and putting out false false information become a part of being successful I mean real talk like I'm really starting to believe that relationships are put into place or or relationships are created so that people can be successful now let me say this right quick before i get into how i feel about the nas and um the nas and Nicki minaj thing one thing that's strange to me is how you have men that call black women gold diggers but these are the men like i say i i don't really pay attention to misinformation People that are ignorant or uninformed, I don't pay them no mind because, like I say, you stay inside your circle. You only know about what you and Ray Ray talk about at the gas station every day. You're misinformed. You don't know. You're not well-traveled. You're not um, well-versed. You're not educated. And it shows in some of the things that you say, okay? And I don't mean it in a way to be disrespectful to anybody. It's just you just are in your circle. So... With that being said, do you guys understand that just like you call black women gold diggers, do you understand that white women go to college? They become certain, they they become certain women and they associate themselves with certain kind of men so that they marry 
doctors or attorneys. They put themselves in place and that's what their mothers taught them to do because that's what they did with their father. If you think for one second that these women don't go away to these Ivy League schools and put themselves in certain places so that they can meet certain men, but they do it, white women do it beforehand. White women do it while they're in college. That's what they do. They bond with each other. And it's a it's a mutual understanding. Okay, I'm going to med school. You're going to accounting school. Together, we're going to put this thing together and we're going to be a force to reckon with. You feel me? But a lot of times, black men don't look at it like that. They just look at it like, you know, the black woman just want to hang around athletes so they can get their money, blah, 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 blah. But because they don't know no better, they don't they won't speak on how the white women do the same thing. They just do it in college. You feel me? Or they put their they they hone in on athletes. Case in point, I have a girlfriend and all she's raising is black athletes. That's all she her boys are being groomed to be athletes. And she says she got more little white girls calling her house than anything you feel me so y'all need to get that black woman being a gold digger thing out your mind because that's not what it is all women all men to me have have the same women and men they just have the same you know the same thought pattern it's just that the black woman is the only one to get a rap for it when all women are all men are doing it. You know, men try to associate themselves with certain kind of women so they can be in place. What you think? What you think? Um, um, what's his name? What's the actor? Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger married Maria Shriver because Shriver, the Kennedy girl, because she was she had a nice personality, although her mug looked the way it did. Y'all know that lady looked like Skeletor from Dag on He Man. Y'all know she do. What you think? You think he married her because she charming? No. He married her because of her background and who she was related to. Come on. Get the F out of here, y'all. Y'all got to open y'all mind up. Y'all got to think beyond. Think beyond the gas station. So, anyway, I'm taking it back to Nicki Minaj and Nas. It's coming out that that actually is fake. That in actuality, Nas is not messing with her. In actuality, Nas has a tour coming up and he wants to create a buzz for himself so that people be interested in him and who else to get with who always got you know it seemed like Nicki Minaj butt cheeks stay in social media for some reason somehow some way you stand next to the person that is the it person you dig me so you know I'm just disappointed because I hate to see these older rappers get involved with such BS and such tomfoolery like I swear to this day and y'all can put it down below do you really really believe that Solange snapped on Jay-Z like that like I don't believe that I think that was a part of a bigger plan that we have no idea is it's about like honestly I really do you know when she snapped on him in the elevator I'm like Joe what and then Beyonce standing still looking like, you know, like, let me get the F out of the way. I ain't trying to get hit. Something ain't, something ain't right about that. Them girls from Texas, you know, them Texas girls ain't having that drama, you know, like you swing, I swing. Don't worry about it. Somebody talking mess, don't worry about it. If you swing, I'm following through. No worries. So something just wasn't right about that. I still to this day believe that that was a publicity stunt. I can't remember what else we had going on at that same time. But it was something to distract us from what was real. I can't remember if it was the missing African girls. I can't remember. But it was something else going on. And they used that as a tool to take our mind away from it. And I know y'all like, nay, everything ain't a conspiracy. Everything ain't a conspiracy. But some things you just got to open your eyes to. You know? And, you know, my sister swinging on my husband. Some, you know, that just seems far-fetched in public. It just seemed far-fetched. 
And then the next minute you know they went on tour. So open your eyes, guys. Open your eyes. Happy Tuesday. Peace.